Hi, I'm Dave Hilgendorf and welcome to episode 30 of Wednesday Work Advice. And today I'm going to talk about getting rich slow. Um, that might bring a, a grin to your face because the common phrase for that is get rich quick, right? Well, uh, I'm going to give a little bit of my testimony if you haven't heard it from another source. But, you know, I started out working as an engineer and then after several years into that, uh, career, I um, quit and went into real estate investing full time, and that was um, partly for good reasons, uh, but there are a lot of wrong reasons for doing that. And the wrong reasons included this "get rich quick" mentality. I wanted to kind of cheat the system, so to speak. And uh, in, in in a lot of ways, my testimony has some similarities to Dave Ramsey, who is a one of my um, mentors, one of the people I really have looked to, looked up to and learned from. And my wife and I uh, facilitate his financial peace class. We're just starting up doing that for the ninth time and we really believe in his program that's taught in Financial Peace University. But one of the things he talks about in that class is the biblical concept of steady plotting and it's probably captured pretty well in Proverbs 13:11 which uh, the NLT has a really, I think, useful translation, which is wealth from get-rich-quick schemes quickly disappears. Wealth from hard work grows over time. So this is just God's way of doing things financially. Uh, and Dave Ramsey talks in his course about a, a secular book, I guess you could call it, which is the, the, the Aesop's fable of the hare and the rabbit. The idea that the, the rabbit is a lot quicker than the I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, the rabbit's a lot quicker than the tortoise. Um, but in the end, the tortoise wins the race. And um, I guess the one, what I wanted to say about that was that, you know, sometimes in, when you get up and go to work, uh, you might feel like you're not making a lot of traction. And again, you might be making some mistakes uh, and not following good biblical principles in various ways and I, I highly recommend the financial peace class to to everybody it's a, it's such a very useful practical class but I just wanted to say specifically if you're feeling like you're not getting ahead and you're tempted to do something like I did to, to kind of shortcut the system and I'm not although I think a little differently I think a little bit differently about this than maybe I once did I'm certainly not against people quitting their job and going into work for themselves I mean our small businesses are so important, and entrepreneurs are so important. And I and I uh, rec and I um, give credit to anyone who is willing to take a measured risk in that area. And if that's where God has put your passion in your heart, that's there's nothing wrong with that. But if you if you feel like you're in the right place in in general in your in your work that you're where God wants you to be, but you just feel like you're not making traction financially, and you're frustrated with that. Um, I would say just just take heart that steady plotting is God's way. Um, it's not the shortcuts financially is not God's way, and over time you will reap a harvest. And so, again, not knowing your exact situation, I just want to encourage you that that concept of steady plotting has has really worked well in my life. Um, on the other side of a bankruptcy. Um, uh, we're very blessed and and I just uh, can't say enough about trusting God with your finances and just doing your part and letting God do his part when it comes to finances is really important. Hope that helps and we'll see you next time. Thanks.